welcome back to a brand new video of the target individual program target experience yeah back with another video soon as i uploaded the <laughs> previous video um again i talk about whenever i'm watching a video listen to audiobook or reading how they will engage in um using the sirens or their uh the car horn or my upstairs neighbor um either banging on the floor above me or dropping things over my head right to go through you know to put me through again noise attacks uh and as well uh, the noise harassment for sleep deprivation particularly when i'm being wakened up out of my sleep and immediately uh, hearing the sound of the New York Credit Department using their sirens. Again, a very low, uh, a very short burst of their sirens, but they would do this very frequently. Um, the audio book I'm listening to is called uh, Dark Persuasion. So it's called uh, Dark Persuasion. Let me go back here. Uh, hold on a sec. I just need to. Uh, okay. All right, it's called Dark Persuasion by. Um, tell you guys the exact. Yeah. The exact name, I should say. <laughs> uh, Dark Persuasion by Joel Dimsdale, right? And he was talking about this this chapter that he's at, chapter, um, excuse me, chapter three. And he's taught, this is about uh, extracting information with drugs the military quest in World War II. Okay? So I talk about as as um and that it's not only just for extracting information, but it's to make you susceptible to brainwashing, to programming. Okay. Um one thing that we know uh particularly and I say we those of us uh who've done the research who understand how drugs are a big part of uh you know any sort of um, brainwashing program, particularly by the U.S. government, the CIA, uh, the FBI, uh, military, what have you, and also uh, religious institution, okay, uh, as well as uh, other uh, cults, right, the organized cults. So, drugs is important. It softens up the mind make it more susceptible for brainwashing or for programming, psychological programming. And like I said, this is one of the things that they don't want US a TI to understand, to talk about. Okay, because it, it is an intricate part of this program. Right? Another thing, um, as the excuse me, the narrator um, was reading the part where he says uh, he's talking about the soldier and the soldier is given uh, bar bar barbiturates you know, uh, in order to help him cope with his anxiety, right? And they talk about how they would um, say a, a word that would trigger this individual, okay? Again, New linguistic programming, right? Anchors and triggers, and that would set off a uh, um, a paranoid state in this uh, individual. Okay, and it's said that he would act as if he is, um, you know, in his foxhole, right? And one of the things that they would do as a TI, you got to be very careful. Okay, is that when they are targeting you? Okay. And you self-isolate. Now, over the weekend, he had a three-day weekend. I have not been outside since I came, uh, except for a Saturday, right, when um, I got dressed to go uh, 
see the kids because you know I thought it was my weekend and I totally forgot that the previous weekend was my weekend and again it just it shows you well, it shows me right because I analyze myself in this program right and again how they will try to um, not try to but how it this affects my memory okay and so whenever I remember certain things they will use the the sirens right and again they do this as a coercive threat so that you don't want to remember certain things okay and why they don't want you to remember certain things okay because they don't want you to remember what it is that they've done to you whether it be in the past may it be you know 20 years ago right like for me I talked about being drugged you know and and that was when and, and I was drugged previously before didn't even understand it didn't even know it until like I said almost a decade later into this pro after being in this program thinking back remembering certain things that happened because guess what those exact things were happening while I became aware of being a TI and aware of the psychological manipulation of the covert warfare um, and the covert psychological warfare okay and you know when you when you read this and you read about dark persuasions dark uh, psycho dark psychology right and how uh, manipulators use psychology and psychiatry particularly the, those that are in positions of power and the use of technology right to manipulate individuals whole groups of people using uh, uh, psychological programming but be it, be it, whether it be it using technology like silent sound which is again uh, radio wave frequency tuned to your consciousness right your, your your mind right being able to implant suggestions from afar using radio wave microwave frequency all right and so they don't want you to understand that these technology exists because again why because they don't want to be accountable okay so we, what we're talking about here is again using technology right silent sound radio wave microwave frequency using the frequency spectrum to broadcast signals whether it's getting it to an individual right because for an individual either through your either through your, your DNA right micro illegal microchipping right and again we, you know uh, we know that they've been able to clone your emotions right and to broadcast those emotions over a wide area okay so they can make people depressed they can make people uh, you know uh, excited right they can they can manipulate people and like I said they, tr they use us as their plaything as toys to engage in their dark personality traits their dark triad traits right and I was gonna do a video uh, you know but I decided not to because uh, I was just not up for it but um, I will and will end up doing the video I'm not forgetting about it you know particularly this again this deals with the psychology of the dark triads and what it is that they do and also uh, the research that they've been doing um, since the 60s since the 50s actually okay and using uh, radio wave frequency to manipulate and control the human mind okay so I you know I, I don't want to be doing this video I really want to go back to sleep but I can't <laughs> because every time I I go back to sleep and I I um you know within with within a couple of minutes or so um you know my neighbor upstairs will start again with the noise harassment in order to keep me up and so hence that's why I'm doing this video again 
All right, talk to you guys next video.